Hi, this is SJ Talks in Life coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <coughs> I know there's a lot of people on here. Um, I want to talk about... Is it okay to tell married women to leave their husband? Um... I noticed that um, this YouTuber by the name of Peach McIntyre, um, she uh, is having some issues with her husband. Um, now, I don't know if she's doing that for content. I, I suspect that she could be doing that for content because she keeps saying, well, me and my husband's getting a divorce. Then she'll come back and say, uh, we're going to work it out. She just keeps going back and forth. So you don't know. It's hard to tell with these YouTubers, especially when they get to a certain level. When they get to a certain level, they feel like they need to to constantly keep the content going. They feel like they need to they need some type of gimmick to constantly keep the to the content going, you know. And um, so I don't know. It's hard to tell with these YouTubers what's real and what's not. So uh, I don't know. I suspect she may be doing it for views, but. I don't know. It's just the reason why I brought her up is because um, a lot of people are, um, um, I don't know the whole situation with her husband. I just know that according to her that they're having marital issues. Um, and then a lot notice that a lot of people are coming on here uh, saying that she needs to leave her husband and all this kind of stuff. And uh, she has six kids by this man. And I guess they're high school sweethearts, I guess. And um, she's got six, all her six of her children is by him. So I think that's excellent. And um, so that's what I want to talk about. Um, is it okay to tell a woman to leave her husband? And I notice a lot of women are sounding off and saying she needs to leave her husband. You need to leave your husband. You're stupid for not leaving him and all this, this and that and the other. And, passing a lot of judgment on her because they feel like she should leave him and because of him I don't know allegedly cheating on her or whatever and they, 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 they sometimes they say well you know he doesn't love you which they don't know that because they don't, they're not in his heart but and I noticed that um that's the that's the one thing I I say that's kind of difficult about being in a relationship is people always want to put their little two cents in where it don't belong, you know, whether it's a relationship or a marriage. Um, but I know marriage is sacred and it's between God and those two people and family members or anybody else supposed to stay out of people's marriages, period. Um, it's a covenant between God and those two people. But people still like to put their little two cents in regardless of whether it's his friends or family or whatever. In her case, it's her subscribers and viewers that are, well, because she, people say, well, she bring her business to the internet and she keep, you know, she does, she's a little bit too transparent for my taste. <laughs> she come on here talking about some, I don't even want to, I don't even want to mention it. <laughs> Saving stuff for uh, I wish she had her first time and all that kind. I mean, she's going. She's very. She's too transparent. I mean, now I say, wait a minute. Now I'm not finna go that far. <laughs> I mean, such thing is oversharing on social media. Um, I don't know what. The, I, I mean, I, I get it that people need to make money on here. You get to a certain level, and YouTube becomes a steady source of income, and you feel like you need to do something to keep the content going but that's when you have to create other sources of income you know <laughs> but I think that's just going a little bit too far but you know but <laughs> but people you know people are you know saying oh yeah well you know passing a lot of judgment on her because she's not leaving her husband and um it happens a lot with women. Um, when a woman is married to a man and she's her husband is cheating on her or something like that. Now, some women 
have husbands and they prefer to stay in the marriage. You know, uh, they feel like, well, as long as he's paying the bills and he's taking care of everything and he's doing what everything he's supposed to be doing, they look, they decide to look the other way, particularly if that man has a certain amount of money. If that man has a certain amount of money, then they're going to decide to look the other way. You know, it depends on the woman. In the Bible, according to the Bible, the Bible said that is the only way God will permit a divorcing if if there's adultery committed but he said you could divorce he didn't say you had to he said you know he it says in the bible that god hates the divorcing he would prefer that you work it out but he knows that um when people commit adultery they're um def they're, they're like the bible would say they're defiling the marital bed so and he knows that that's something that a lot of people probably can't get past so that's probably why he said that's the only way that they have scriptural, that you have scriptural grounds to get a divorce in a case of adultery in God's eyes. So, but he didn't say you had to. And I think people get that misconstrued. I think people think that when a person commits adultery, you know, well, you just have to leave them and not necessarily. Because believe it or not, there are some couples that actually get past that. There's actually some people, couples that can work it out and they can get past it if the man you know slips up and commits adultery it depends on the situation it depends on the situation some people actually get past it some women feel like well he paying the bills and he doing this and that and the other um they decide to look the other way until i guess until they can't take it no more or whatever the situation is or some women um they're doing the same thing <laughs> you know that both people are doing it so sound crazy to me but that's you know it, it depends on the situation and so I can certainly understand why she would want to um, try to do the best she can to work the marriage out because she has six children by this man um, they have a, a long history together um, this is her uh, according to her he's her first love they have a long history together um, so I can certainly understand uh, why she would want to try to work it out and try to make the marriage work. Uh, particularly, she has six children. She probably doesn't want to be a single mom. Who wants to be a single mom? Nobody wants to be a single mom. So I can definitely certainly understand why she... And she came on, she did come on a video and said that she was scared um, to... She said she came on the video and said that she was scared to leave him for that reason, you know, um, you know, that she didn't want to be alone. She was afraid to be alone. And I came in, I gave her a little bit of loving advice. Um, cause when I give advice, it's always from a loving place. It's never from you, 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 you know, like some people, um, you know, I gave her some good loving advice and, um, and I told her, I understand how she felt. Um, you know, cause it could be, she has six children by the man. And who wants to be a single mother? Nobody wants to be a single mother. And, you know, she, she, when you're with somebody that long, it's hard to be by yourself when you've been with somebody that long, especially when you're used to being married to someone that long. So, I mean, a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people are understanding that. But, you know, um, that's the question. Is it okay to tell a woman to leave her husband? A significant other I say it's not okay it's not okay to because that's first of all that particularly a marriage is between those two people and God and there's two sides to every story there's his side her side and somewhere in the middle lies the truth so you don't know the whole situation you don't know the whole situation of everything that's going on in that marriage. I'm back. I had to come in the house because <clears throat> they started playing music out there. I don't want to get copyrighted. So anyway, as I was saying, um, you don't know what what's the whole ins and outs of what's going on in that marriage. Um and you really, at the end of the day, you really can't tell somebody what to do. When it boils down to it and comes down to it, 
You can't tell somebody what to do. Um, it's not, you know, it's not even to come down to it. It's not even your business. It's not, not even our business. But it, it's, it's, we don't, we only see a portion of these YouTubers life when they come on here. We don't see that we're not, see, we don't see the everything that's going on behind the scenes. And so it's just, I don't think it's okay to tell someone what to do in their relationship. A lot of people think it's okay to do that, but it's not. It's not okay to tell someone to leave their mate. It's it's between them and God. You know, um, you can't at the end of the day, especially when you're dealing with grown folks, you can't tell grown folks what to do. You can't tell grown folks what to do. You you got to let, even if it's a family member, even if it's a family member or a close friend, um, if they come to you talking to their talking about their problems or you know about problems or whatever, um, um, it's it's a hard it's sometimes hard for people to do, especially if you're hearing about different things that's going on. Um, you know, it's it's hard to not say that sometimes. Because if it's, a, if it's somebody you care about, you know, a close friend or a family member, you don't like to see them hurt. But at the same time, you know, you got to stay out of it. Because marital marital affairs are really private and they're between those two people and God. So, um, you know, it's really best to stay out of people's marital affairs when it comes down to it. So it's not really best to tell people what to do in a situation like that. And then if they happen to work things out and get back together, then you looking, you over here looking like, you know, cause you told, told her to leave. So it's just better to just, um, uh, be neutral on it. Um, you could, you know, it's nothing wrong with saying, well, you know, giving some advice, but as far as telling the person to leave and then shaming the person, if they don't leave, that's not okay either. You know, shaming them if they don't leave. So let me know. Hit me up in the comment section what you think. Do you think that it's best for people to tell a woman or man to leave their spouse? Let me know. Hit me up what you think in the comment section. Is that a good idea? Or to tell someone to leave their mate? How would you feel? Do you, How would you feel if you had marital issues and someone told you to leave your mate? How would... I, Either way, vice versa, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Hit that subscribe, like, and share, and notification bell. Until the next video, be blessed.